Well, guys, we got some plowing that needs to get done. And if you guys remember in the live stream, I did a live stream a couple days ago. And it was really fun plowing and it worked really well. And so we're back on Hunter Farms map. We're doing some more plowing. Now, the thing is, this is probably my last video on this map. I love the map and all, but they're starting to get some more seasons ready maps coming out. Especially like County Line where there's towns. There's two towns in County Line. So we can do a ton of snow plowing. So I'm going to switch to those maps eventually. Probably my last map. For now, we have three customers, White House, Tan House, and Red House that we got to plow. I'm kind of, I'm really digging the plowing, and especially I've been talking about the Expendables, and they got, they got a couple more plows coming up too. Huh. Yeah, it needs plowing. And, okay, Seasons is pretty darn realistic. They got fields even you plowing. I wonder if I go to the driveway if it'll say needs plowing too. We may have to plow this field too. We'll add that to the list maybe. The driveways don't say needs plowing though. I don't know why. Okay, so I don't know why it doesn't show up for the driveways. It shows up for that field for some reason for like these lots and stuff. It doesn't say needs plowing. So I'm going to take the F100. Uh, I'm going to take the F100. And now I bought a gooseneck. Holy crap. Okay, I bought it. I never checked it out though. Holy crap. But I bought a gooseneck trailer and we're going to... It's tough because the F100 is kind of a light truck. It's not really made to pull a gooseneck even though it has a gooseneck flatbed. It, it, a skid loader is a lot of weight for this whole truck. But I think it can do it. And so we're going to take this for the day. I don't think when we use a dump truck, we're going to use the Bobcat and the F100 and get stuff done. That's the goal. So G Portal is a sponsor of today's episode. If you guys want, go check them out. If you're looking for a server, a dedicated server that you can put up with your friends, family, if you guys all want to play and nobody wants to host the actual multiplayer game on their, on their computer, G Portal will host it for you. So that way anybody can get on the server anytime without having to bother anybody to put up a server because G Portal is the one that puts up the server for you. Got a clean website. I've had people say, we use that for our farming tournament too. If we ever had issues, they always fi fix the issues right away. Customer support was was perfect. So they're the sponsor of today's episode. If you guys do want, go check them out. I have a squad discount code of 5%. You can click the link down in the description to get the discount code. Oh man, please don't push now. Oh shoot, are we stuck? <laughs> Oh, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. I, I kind of want to get stuck there for a little bit. Okay, I'm going to back up to this gooseneck trailer. I don't know. We may get stuck once we hook up to the trailer, though. It's one thing. Okay. Okay, get out of here. Come on. Back her up. Okay, so one thing is we have we haven't ever cleared this lot even. Like, I've always made little passes through it. So I think we should probably clear our own lot before we start getting to other people's. Dude, am I stuck? This is really neat how I'm actually stuck here. Come on, man. I gotta drop the plow. Gonna plow our way out. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna back the trailer in. And then I'm gonna grab the skid loader quick, because I think the skid loader might be a little faster for plowing this, even though I do love running this F100. I'm just gonna use the skid loader real quick. It's got a bigger blade width, so it works a lot nicer. It's a two speed, too. It's quick. There we go. Let's get this lot cleared so we can actually get in and out of our own lot. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, okay. Put her to the left. See, all these blades, like, they operate completely different. And I'm not used to how they operate fully. Oh, we are pushing a lot of snow, boys. I think I'll most likely use a skid loader for driveways. I think it'll be a lot quicker if we use a skid loader for driveways. And then once we really start getting into it, like say we have a huge lot, I think what I'll do is I'll time lapse it, because I think I can get it looking pretty sweet if I if I time lapse it. Now also, okay, the F100, there's a salt spreader, right? And Expendable sent it to me, and I got the salt station. And as soon as I go down to place down the salt station, my game freezes. Like it won't let me place it down at all. First of all, it says like you have too many of these items. You need to sell some before you can place this down. And then right after I click out of that, my game freezes. So I can't get salt yet, but there's literally a salt spreader that will go on the back of the F100. If I had salt, I'd put the salt spreader on. We keep going, but I gotta, I gotta kind of get that figured out a little bit. This skid loader is smooth. It's got a crazy wide path. But for some reason, I have a lot more fun using the F100 to plow snow rather than the skid loader.
So there is so much snow here. I've just decided like, heck, I'm just gonna pile it up. There is a crazy amount of snow. It's a lot to push, man. The skid loader does a fantastic job. There is a lot of snow. So I'm just kind of pushing it up off the edge of the parking lot. There's no way we're even using this full parking lot. There we go. I'm just cleaning up all this little stuff. That'll be our entrance and exit. I could probably push the piles back a little more over there. If I had a salt spreader, you would see, you would see like nothing left behind here. Cause it would be like all this stuff, the salt would clean up. Every, all these like scrap dribbles behind here, salt just cleans up. That's what it, so it actually has use in farm sim, which is pretty cool. Okay. Angle the blade, drop her down, and then we should be just about good. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm saying we're good because we need to go knock out some customer driveways too. And we got pilot of the field, that's right. Okay, it works good. I like that machine. Okay, now for the F100. Let's load this skid loader up on this trailer. And then we'll haul it over to the houses. Maybe I'll use the pot truck, maybe I'll use the bobcat. It depends. It'd be cool. Oh, I need to get a couple more people with us. I keep saying that. Then I'm going to get a couple more people with us to really knock out some places. But maybe once we start a new map and kind of a new, almost like a snow plowing series, and we actually get a business. Because right now, this is almost, I just like start buying this equipment. We didn't really start like a true business like we usually do. There we go. Oh, this thing wobbles. It's fine. Okay. Right there. And I think this is strappable. So this should, oh, usually it does. Maybe in the back. Okay. So you kind of have to just keep playing with it. And I got to keep scooching it up. Kind of move it around a lot by the way speaking of mods okay for mods starting now i'm not gonna link up the specific mod okay there's a good reason behind this but all i'm doing is linking oh perfect it worked all i'm doing is linking up the pages to where you can get mods and to where i go to get mods okay because i sometimes there's been a couple of times where i've accidentally like gave away a private mod and when I'm linking them up, when I'm linking them up, each mod individually, I've accidentally gave away a private mod and then modders get extremely mad at me and then I get a horrible reputation. So that's the reason behind it. If I just link you guys to the, all the public mod pages, it works out a lot better. So there's, I'm not doing it just because I, just because I want to make you guys suffer and not get any mods or anything like that. But, uh, but yeah, I've just decided, Hey, we're going to test out this route now. So that's what we're doing. Okay. I need to put this hood down. There we go. See, the skid loader, when you when you when you move the blade one way, it goes like the opposite way. With this blade, when you move it one way, it goes that way. So I, I have to get used to these blades because they're both they're all different. <laughs> so far the F one hundred dollars it dude. <laughs> Check this baby out. This is like the perfect plow truck too. It will it could be sweet once uh if somebody eventually puts a plow on the F-250 Power Stroke. I know I had a lot of comments that were like, Squad, get a plow on your truck in Farm Sim. That would be perfect, man. So, maybe it'll happen. Who knows? Oh, we're kind of pushing some snow. It's fine. Do I have the... Oh, so what's happening is when the skid loader is actually being trailered, there's blade animations, and the blade animation's still going because the blade's moving, even though it's on a trailer. I see. I was wondering what that sound was. Okay, so the three homes up here, I'll, okay, I'll use the truck for a little bit, but then I'll use the skid loader. I'm just going to see how it works with the truck, because I do like, I really like plowing with this truck, so we'll kind of figure it out. Um, here, I got an idea. I don't know the, how well this is going to work. I need to lower, how do you even lower the blade on this? There we go. Okay, so I'm on the blade, I'm going to lower this thing. And then we're going to push this snow off to the left a little bit so that I at least have a kind of a, a spot to park while we have a trailer on, man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay, I might just kind of go all the way down. It is pushing good, dude. The base, the four. I like it. Okay, I'd say we're good. I'm going to lift that up and then we'll do one more pass while we're pulling a gooseneck, baby. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I actually have to watch where I'm backing up because I do not want to back this thing to like a, a snow pile. There we go. And then I'll do one more pass. That way we can park the trailer and unload and kind of get off the street a little bit. This thing just keeps on going, dude. No matter how big the pile gets, it keeps pushing. There we go. And yeah, we're just going to make one giant pile. 
Okay, let me turn that blade. Okay, blade's turned. Lift up the blade. Oh, shoot. Other way. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to park right here. And I'm going to... I'm going to disconnect the trailer. And I'm going to use a truck for the first house. And then we'll see... And then we'll use the skid loader and see what's faster. I'll start at this red house here. And I got to figure out where the... Okay, we got to take a little walk. Where does the driveway start and end? I think it's... This is going to be simple, actually. The driveway, I think, starts right here. Now, I wonder if it's a better idea to back the truck up and then push that way. I may try doing that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive through the snow like that, though. It would be cool to back drag, but I don't think they have back drag features in farm sim. You're here. Let's get a good idea of where this driveway starts, okay? So, I know, I know, the hood opens. I can't do anything about that. Okay, once I hit grass, we're lifting the blade up. Grass. Perfect. Okay, I may kind of start pawing like this. There's all different ways people do it, I know. Grass. Okay, so I'm going to try. Please don't push it in the street. There we go. I'm going to try backing my way into this driveway. And then we'll push it out to the street. I think that's kind of illegal. But it's farm sim, man. Okay. Here we go. Angle the blade to the left. Okay, actually what I'm going to do. There we go. Perfect. I'm going to lift it up there. And then I'll kind of come through with the plow off the street. And we'll push it all into one big pile. Okay, drop the blade. Man, it's the other way. See, I'm not used to this because the skid loader is opposite of this truck. And I was just running the skid loader for a while. There we go. Nice. Okay, lift the blade up. I got to figure out how I'm going to push this stuff. Because I don't want to just push it. I don't want to push this stuff right into there. How do I even push this stuff out of here, dude? I'm trying to think. If I had a shovel, I could kind of push this stuff out. I'm... Oh, man. How do you... How do you even get this out of here? Oh. Okay, so I, I think the best way to do this... Obviously, if you had a plow, you could backtrack. Man, it would be nice to have my hood down so I could see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly come up to the side. There might be a corner that I might not be able to get. It's just going to... It's just how it is. Just how it's going to happen. There we go. Okay, so push out this way. That worked good. Okay, that worked really good. That was smooth. Now I need to try to clear more snow out of there. If there's any more snow, please come in my plow. And then we can uh, we get out of here so we can make the driveway. The customer happy. Come on. Ah, oh, shoot. We're getting caught up. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So now I'm going to try to angle it the other way. Push it in. We'll see how this works. That was smooth. Okay, I'm going to lift up so we can get some of the stuff in the middle here. If I had the salt spreader, it'd clear it all up right away. I think the skid loader would have worked a ton better for me in this situation, but it all worked out fine. I just don't want to make a mess across their driveway. That's the goal. Okay, so I got a lot of those piles pushed back. Now I'm going to finish cleaning up the driveway just perfectly. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this, is I'm going to swing all the way around. Shoot, forward. Please don't pick up any snow. Darn it. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to swing all the way around because we've got this giant pile in the corner here. And I want to just push it all up and push it back. This is just kind of weird looking. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, so I got to clean up that stuff. We should be good for the driveway. The first driveway at least. Okay, I'm going to work my way up by this house. I don't know if this is going to work. Maybe I can drive through the house. Nope, can't. But I did kind of get some cleared out. Come on, get cleared out of there. Okay, we're starting to get some cleared out. Oh, shoot. I'm stuck now. Come on, make the turn. 
There we go. Shoot. First driveway should be complete. I know I keep saying like, oh, it's complete. Perfect. We got her done. But uh, there's always little stuff I see and I want to always fix it. And I want to go back and clean it out. But we got most of it cleared out. Okay, so now this time I'm going to try using the skid loader on this driveway. It's pretty much the same driveway. We'll see if I can get it done any faster. One thing for sure is I got to take this big tax trailer and just back her up. And then that way we can get in here. Because otherwise I'm probably going to be backing in to the big tax trailer like all the time. Because it's right in front of that driveway. Okay. We should be good. Shutting the truck off. We'll undo this strap here. Get the skid loader out. How fast does it take us? It took us a while with the F100. But I'm not ruining time or anything. I'll just kind of just kind of go with my own judgment. I think the skid loader is going to be a little quicker. We'll see. Okay, so goal going into this, I learned a couple lessons. I think what I'm going to do, plow straight forward, and then at the end, just turn to the side right here. We should be good. One thing about the skid loader is it can do a 360, just like instantly. The truck, there's no way I'm doing a 360 with the truck. So the skid loader is probably going to be better. Yeah, let's make sure we get this right. Let's do it right. I got to get used to these controls though, because they're opposite of the F100. Darn it. Fine. Holy crap, dude. We almost got the driveway done in one pass. Okay, hold on. I want to get everything real clean. There we go. Oh, come on. I need to get that little snow right there. Oh, don't you just sit there. Okay, nice. We got it. Okay, so now, holy crap, it's pushing against the garage. It's fine. So now, I'm going to just make the turn. Oh, baby. The skid loader is a gold nugget to this. It's a lot better than the truck. Perfect. That was so smooth. There we go. Okay, and when I'm turning around, I can lift the, the plow up like crazy high. And the skid and with the truck, I'm always like pushing snow around when I'm not trying to push snow around. Question is how far do we go? How big is this driveway? There we go. And then now there's just a tad bit of snow right here that I missed. And then we are done with this driveway. Wow. There's probably a sidewalk I gotta do too. Forgot about that. Look at that, man. That was clean. Okay, on to the next driveway. Because it's super quick with the skid letter. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did the other driveway. Start on the right side. Push it, work the snow to the left. Yep, we missed a little bit. That's fine. No, it's not fine. Come on, get in there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, nice. I gotta get my way out of here without- Oh shoot, we're kinda in the garage door. Okay, we're gonna do- Holy crap! Okay, stop- stop plowing. There we go. We're gonna do like a full 360 in here. Cause I am like, hunkered down in this corner. There we go. We'll drive out here, do a 360 quick. Oh yeah, that is quick. That's smooth. Now, I don't know where the grass starts. We might be hitting the grass. Yep, we're definitely pawing some of the grass. It's fine. Look at that, boys. We are done with that driveway already. Oh, that was quick, dude. We got everything done so smoothly, so fast with the skid loader. I should have used the skid loader from before, but at least we know that the skid loader is a ton faster than the F100. At least we tried the F100. We learned a lesson. Rather than not knowing if the F100 had capabilities to be faster than the skid loader. But well, we got all three customers done. Looks good. The field, you guys know I was just joking about the field, right? The needs plowing thing, because that's because that's plowing with an actual tillage tool, right? Not plowing with a snow plow. Hopefully you guys knew I was joking. Maybe, honestly, people probably didn't think I was joking. I bet you they didn't. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Seriously, thanks for watching. Next map, I want to switch it up. I want to be on a different map for snow plowing. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, hopefully you have a fantastic day. Thanks, guys.